Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, so another video brought on by you guys. You guys, like I said before, if you want something, please make sure to put it in the comment section. I've decided that I'm going to focus my YouTube around what you guys want to see. So one of you guys put in the comments, hey, I love how you're able to make your wardrobe look so elevated with some of your high and low pieces. So I took that, sat down, and kind of came up with about six or seven different things that I do that I would suggest to make any wardrobe look expensive. I personally don't think that you have to go out and buy a $400 pair of jeans or a $300 blazer to make your wardrobe look expensive. I think that there are things that you can do at home to elevate your current, your current wardrobe. So let's do a quick round robin with what I have on and then let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start from the top to the bottom. The top, I talk about this all the time. This is so in. Um, regular sewing, so a little bit, so my hair, the track, <laughs> so I literally got it the same length as my hair. Um, I've got two bundles in, 14 inches, I'll link those below. Um, what else? This is uh, the Kalana slash Target Future Collective Bomber Jacket. I got this in a size medium. This is a knit dress that I got from Shop Cider. Um, I did like a little quick Instagram reel to show you guys that haul. What else? Of course, my jewelry is all my own, shoplivingfearless.com. Um, I know I get a lot of questions about my nails are actually press-ons. I did hear a comment from you guys saying, hey, can you do a more in-depth tutorial? So the next vlog will actually have a more in-depth tutorial on how I um, do my press-ons to make it look like a little cute gel manicure. What else? Lippy is MAC Cosmetics Chestnut, and then I went in with their taupe lipstick. Is that it? Sorry, I'm looking at the mirror. I think that's it. I'll link the foundation that I have I have on below. Love it. And then I'll link the um, blush that I have on below. Also love that. I think that's it. Okay, now let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, we're going to wash our clothes on the delicate cycle. I got that tidbit from, I can't remember either my first or my second tailor and it's been absolutely amazing. And what I've really noticed is that some of the more inexpensive clothing, the pretty little thing, the boohoo, the uh, nasty gal, some of the cheaper clothing, I'm able to get more wears out of it because I'm washing it on the delicate cycle. Um, when you're going to dry it, still dry it on the delicate cycle. FYI, don't ever put your jeans in the dryer. Let's just, let's just get that out of the way. Don't ever put your jeans in the dryer. Wash them on delicates and then just let them hang dry. Even if you do put it on delicates, I, I still haven't. I either will hang dry my jeans if I wash them on delicates or I've just been going to get them dry cleaned. Either one works, just don't put them in the dryer. Um, anyway, so like I was saying, wash them on delicates, dry them on delicates. You might have to go another cycle to dry them in order to get them completely dry, but it really helps to preserve the life of your clothing, washing it on delicates. And I got that tidbit from a professional. All right, so while we're on the subject of washing and those kind of things, the second thing that I do is I steam rather than iron my clothes. Um, once again, one of those tidbits that I got from, I actually got this from the lady who does dry my dry cleaning, me and my husband's dry cleaning, is that even the stuff that she says at home that she can rather iron, she rather steams. I can't remember what she says the iron does that the steam doesn't do, but it helps to preserve the threading in the clothes especially if they're like 100% cotton or have some kind of like cotton linen blend it helps to preserve the threads so that they don't loosen later she told me to steam and not iron I went and got a steamer and I've been loving it ever since I actually can't remember the last time I actually used iron like we have one but I don't think I've used one since we moved in and that was back in March when did we move in this house May yeah so if you can afford it, they have steamers all the time. I'll link the one that I got below. I got it from Amazon back whenever there was a prom and I've still been using it since. So I want to say I've had this one for going on two years now. Absolutely love it. I have been meaning to get maybe like a handheld one or a travel one for when I'm like traveling and the hotel doesn't have one, but the hotel will have the iron. I don't know, but steaming the clothes apparently does something better with the thread makeup than if you just ironed it. 
take it from me who took it from a dry cleaning professional steam over ironing okay so we're gonna hit all the like laundry type maintaining things first and then we'll get into like how to actually dress to make your wardrobe look expensive so one we're going to wash on delicates instead of normal and we're not going to um, dry our jeans we're going to let them air dry two we're going to steam our clothes instead of ironing them because apparently did something with the makeup uh three we're going to invest in a lint roller for the people that wear black i.e myself um and then we're going to do like a sweater shaver a sweater shaver it, there's a properly a professional term for it and maybe i'll put it here as i'm editing it it's just what i call it i know it's not the right thing because when i tell my husband hey can you grab my sweater shaver he looks at me weird like how how did she get this word that she's using but it's anyway you know how your sweaters in the winter time they come with like those little there they have those like those little basically balls of lint and you're gonna and the lint roller can't get them a sweater shaver shaves all of that off so that your sweater looks nice and new you can get it from amazon i've had mine for I don't know a year or so i i normally lose it every winter so i have to buy a new one i'm not even going to lie but they're inexpensive so sweater shaver to shave all of that like those like l mini lint balls off of your sweaters that they look new and pristine and then of course a lint roller for all of your darker colored items i love to wear dark colors in the fall or any season for that matter <laughs> um so your your blacks your grays your your dark greens go ahead and make sure that you have a lint roller i keep one of course in the house and then i keep one in my car because I, you just never know when i have to like rush out and i get in the car and i'm like my god there is lint absolutely everywhere um so i'll go ahead and keep one of those in the car just to kind of like you know lint myself or roll myself before i get out of the car and i look nice and elegant in my all black look so yeah definitely lint roller and a sweater shaver all right and then the last laundry maintenance tip is to carry especially if you're like me and I love to wear white you guys know my uniform white top jeans something a Tide pin invest in Tide pins I have Tide pins everywhere I have Tide pins in my purse I will have Tide pins of course I have plenty at home I have them in my glove compartment I have tied pins everywhere because I like to wear white. To me, I, I love a white top with like a different color bottom. So I'm always going to have on white. And people ask me all the time, how the hell are you keeping it clean? I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. I am a messy eater. I, I can't even tell you the number of times I went through Starbucks and my ass just cannot wait before I drive off. So I sip a piece of coffee. I sip some coffee and my shirt wants some coffee too. And I was like, ugh. Tide pin. It works wonders. I'm not like I was a little hesitant at the beginning. Tide pin, shot wipes. So I also have a couple of those. Anything that will immediately get off a stain on your lighter colored clothing, definitely get that because it's easier to clean it then than rather sit, go home, let the stain sit, and now you're struggling how to get out coffee or matcha or red wine or whatever. Go ahead and handle the stain at the beginning, and then that way you're not like walking around for the rest of the day with a coffee stain. In between your breasts like myself so yeah coffee matcha wine just go ahead and get a tide pin uh and shot wipes i personally use a tide pin because i've i know how to like press it long enough or hard enough to get the stain out if you're inexperienced my husband carries shot wipes and shot wipes kind of do the same thing so um we've done a laundry now let's get into how to actually dress to look like you have an expensive wardrobe the first thing I'm going to tell you guys to do, and I say this all the time when I'm thrifting, is find a great tailor and make her your best friend. The power of a tailor. My goodness. I am now, and I hope this is my last one. I am now on my third tailor. It has absolutely nothing to do with them. They all each did excellent work. It's just that when we move, it makes no sense for me to then go 15 miles out of my way to go to the tailor that I used to go to. So it was definitely a, a, a I wouldn't say a mouse, cat and mouse, but it was, it took a second for me to find different tailors when we move but find a good tailor make them your best friend when i was having to like go to my different tailors 
I would bring them like gift bags for like the holiday season or I would stop by like there was one tailor who she loved uh, chai lattes. I would bring her one whenever I came by. You want to make her your best friend or him your best friend because the power of a tailor can change the way your clothing fits. It can make it look like Oh my gosh, she definitely got that on sale because it's too big to, oh my God, I wonder who makes her clothes for her. Like it's a tailor goodness. So find one and make her your best friend. All right, moving on to the second tip in actually like dressing to look expensive. We're black. Black looks black looks chic. Blacks, neutral, you're talking about your grays, your beiges, your whites. Any combination of those just makes it look like it's just, it elevates a look. It really does. Even if you have like color, if you want to pop on like something neutral to go with it, or if you have like this all red outfit and you want to pop on a black blazer, it literally just elevates the look up a notch when you have on black or neutral. So definitely consider putting those in your wardrobe. I know some people absolutely hate neutrals. <laughs> Um, they live in color, they love color, and that's great, but maybe get a neutral item. I am the complete opposite. I love neutrals. I live in neutrals, we're friends, and then every now and then I'll have a pop of color. So like I'm, you know, I have a pop of green, or I'll have a pop of red or something like that. But I definitely think that neutrals really help to elevate your current wardrobe. Okay, so we've got a tailor, which, you know, you're going to make her your best friend. And then we're going to wear neutrals or wear black. Neutrals in general, I think, would help elevate a look. Um, if you're one of those and you're just like, you know what? I can't do neutrals, okay? I live in color. I think in color. I dream in color. I need color. Got it. Go monochrome, okay? Monochrome, I don't know when monochrome decided to make a, a second wave, but I've been wearing monochrome since... I was in junior high because I loved I love to do the different colors so it doesn't have to be the exact same color some people think they need the exact same brown from the top to the bottom to the shoe to the hat no it can be different shades of brown but when you have the different shades of brown and you're wearing it as like one I live for a monochrome look I got plenty I don't, I'm not even gonna wonder I know I got plenty of monochrome looks because I live for monochrome and honestly monochrome is when I get to express the different like the small um, pieces that I have that are actually in colors like I have a monochrome I know I have like an all green look I have an all uh, red look I have like a yellow a golden look monochrome to me just and then when if like if you pair it with like a structured bag one time for the monochrome outfit it's just it's good <laughs> So for those, and that monochrome can be neutrals, it can be color, it can be whatever. So for those people that are like, I'm not wearing neutrals, give me a second option. Go monochrome, because monochrome will make any look look chic, expensive, classic, timeless, any other word you want to use instead of those. It's just, it does it for me. All right, and so the last one, which is really like my pet peeve because I see some people try to do it but don't don't do it efficiently is learning how to style the oversized look what i mean by that you have an oversized shirt right and you want to pair the look i've seen so many people pair an oversized shirt with an oversized blazer and an oversized jean and i'm like i i can't even see your shape i can't see your shape i can't see your structure anything and what i say is if it's big up top go small at the bottom and or reverse it if it's small up top go big at the bottom what do i mean by that oversized shirt oversized blazer can we do some skinny jeans can we do some tights something like that that adds a little structure and i can actually see your body shape if you want to go big at the bottom i know cargo pants are really in nowadays i know i have a pair of cargo pants can we do something a little bit more structured up top can we do a bodysuit can we do a tight shirt something like that um you can still do an oversized blazer but under that the shirt needs to be small so it needs to be small up top big at the bottom or big at the bottom small up top and i think some people kind of get that don't really know how to dress with that and so what normally will make an outfit look elevated is kind of like oh you almost you almost had it it's 
you almost had it. <laughs> um, I, you guys know me, I love an oversized look. Okay, I live for an oversized look. Most of the time, I am wearing an oversized an oversized top with a tighter bottom but now that joggers are in I have been I mean you guys have recently saw it in my what I wore I had like a, a smaller top little cute tank ruched top and then I had a um, oversized joggers I love the oversized look I definitely think the oversized look can be chic can look elevated if it's done correctly so I'm hoping that I'm putting up some examples here and then I can also go to Pinterest to get some so that you can kind of get some inspiration all right so guys that is it this should be a short video I'm hoping it's a short video maybe less than 30 minutes it's just one of those where someone asks and I'm like hmm this sounds like a really good video idea. So if you have made it at this point in the video, you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. As I said before, guys, I am literally, okay, making YouTube videos strictly off of what you guys want. So please leave it in the comment section if you want anything, if you want me to talk about anything. Your The next videos are audience choice. <laughs> So with all that being said, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys next Sunday, 7 o'clock.